Welcome to Three Minutes with Art 2. I'm a radiological scientific officer, and this is our survival complex. One of the most difficult things for people to understand in shelter design is how to design the entrance. And in this video, I am going to explain how our entrance is designed. The thing that people has most trouble in doing in building a shelter is designing a proper entrance. And I want to explain here how an entrance is designed. The important thing is, is there's dirt up over the top of the entrance here. And this dirt covers the whole of the entrance from the part that goes down the shelter, the part out there, uh, which is on that side of the entrance. So there, the entrance is completely surrounded by dirt. These are our doors. We have large double doors to be able to load things in and out through the shelter here. And these doors, one thing about the doors that people don't appreciate about shelters is that they open inwards, not outwards. Because if somebody came and blocked your door, if somebody came, in our case came up and drove a car up and parked in front of our door, then we wouldn't be able to open our doors to go out or there may be debris or something like that. So our doors open inwards. However, with our doors, courtesy and as a requirement of the fire department, we had to have a door that opened outwards. So we have a little door with inside the big door. And that is how we solved that. Although we have a number of emergency escape hatches, we also had to put in another separate back door at the other end of the shelter. These all have the same kind of radiation barrier protection. We have the outside doors and we also have the inside doors. And th these, this grill is sometimes all that we'd close. I expect it would be rather quiet outside, but with the radiation and all, we still need to have air to get in the shelter, so oftentimes we would just lock the grill. Uh, we have a chain we put around it, close the grill, lock the chain, we're downstairs, we don't worry about it, and the air just comes in the shelter. And that's the way most people should probably get the air into their shelter. They talk about big, thick blast doors and making them strong against, they're afraid somebody's going to attack them or something like that. But usually we'll just pretty much leave the doors open. Now you can see the length and the depth of our entrance. And this, alongside our entrance, we happen to have a conveyor to bring things up and down. But it's just a wide entrance, so with our big shelter and expecting 500 people in here, we need a big entrance and exit for people to go through. But the most important part of the entrance is where I'm standing here right now. Most importantly, standing at this position, I and the shelter below me are protected by the radiation barrier of dirt that is piled up outside the entrance wall that is directly in front of me. Now this is the most important part of an entrance. This is where the 90 degree turn is. We come down the entranceway and then we turn and we go down again, but we do it on a 90 degree turn. This is the barrier that really protects from the radiation because the radiation doesn't turn a corner. Radiation only goes straight like light. Okay, this is the other side of the barrier where we've made the 90 degree turn and then the aisleway goes on down into the shelter. But this is the part that really protects one because even if one, if it was intense radiation outside and I was standing really right about here, I'd be fully protected because the radiation goes in a straight line and it's not going to come through that barrier at me. So this is the last safe spot. I think of drawing a red line and a diagonal on the floor here to tell people don't go beyond this spot. Of course as we go down further into the shelter there's even more barrier and cover for longer periods of time for the radiation. Please remember that R2 is not just about your survival. It is about the reconstruction of society after Armageddon. 